So guys, this is what I've come up with. It's an Arduino Mega 2560. And um, it has a sensor shield on top. This here. And it was uh, $18 for the 2560 and uh, 13 bucks for the sensor shield. These are some 3D printed uh, terminal blocks that I made up. I didn't have any handy. Uh, so I made up two of that. And what I've tried to do, what I've done, is I've drawn out a, a um, crossover plan, track plan here. And I've got a red and green LED for the main route and a red green LED for the diverging route. Right now the main route is on. Diverging route is red. Diverging route is red. Main line is green. And I've got servos mode uh, servos with a, a uh, switch here. Hopefully this will focus. Um, there and one there. And they are driven off of one pin through a Y harness here into the one pin on the Arduino. The other pin is used for this push button. Um, each one of these um, LEDs I found with the AC that is generated by the DCC, um, in my case an NCE uh, power cap unit. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's the anode, cathode, uh, I've got the anode, cath the anode and anode on one, the anode and cathode on another, the anode and cathode together as a common, but I've only used one resistor on the common of each one of these, and it doesn't matter that I run the positive to the green in this case, say, or sorry, the positive to the red in this case, and the negative, and it's switched off of this uh, micro switch here that is switched off of the servo, which is here, which is going to control the turnout. And when I hit this button, those both those servos will switch and make the LEDs, as you'll see here, when I switch it. So now the red is, is uh, for the main, and the green is for the diverging route, and you'll see the green is for the diversion route and the red is for the main. All from the one, as you'll see if I back up here. So these are all 3D printed um, files off of Thingiverse. This I designed in Google SketchUp. Um, the servos, as you see here, three dollars and forty-seven cents each. The single pull will throw switch, forty cents each. Four seventy ohm resistor. I had them. I don't know what the price are. I bought bulk LEDs. The red works out to one cent an LED, three cents for the green. Um, printed circuit. Or sorry, the uh, 3D printed parts on the board. On this board right here, it might have 50 cents. I'm somewhere between 30 and 50 cents in materials. That's it. It's 42 cents for the switch. Again, 13 for the sensor shield. 18 for the Mega 2560. There's 53 I/O available on the sensor shield. Um, works out to about 10 bucks for um, everything minus the the the, uh, the Arduino. But for two turnout controlled for a crossover, um, that's on my layout. This is the way I'll be running. I can run this then into JMRI somehow. I know I can. I just don't know how to do it yet. Which is what I'm going to go to, and I'm going to get a um, also get a a uh, motor shield and make up a DCC plus plus system. And I need to see how I can tie this unit complete with a DCC++ Arduino. I'm going to get another Mega and a Motor Shield. It'll be about the same $25, I think, somewhere in there for the two. That'll give me a complete DCC system. 
and use my cell phone, uh, tablet, whatever I want to use um, that way. Um, it's a pretty inexpensive means to do it and the LEDs are extremely cheap if you buy them in bulk. I'm just waiting for my shipment to come. I got a thousand green, I got a thousand red. I also have a hundred single uh, red green LEDs so I can go that route if I choose to as well. I don't know, I won't know until I get them here whether I like them or not. They're clear and they'll turn red and green depending on which way it's switched. So, but uh, this was my first shot at anything to do with an Arduino. It's something that I got out of the M, uh, Model Railroad Hobbyist uh, magazine. And this here is the Arduino Sketch. Sorry, let me move that out of the way. The Arduino Squat Sketch, sorry, six push button controlled servos with LED indicator, which I'm not using the way that it's wired here. Um, the LEDs on my boards do not go through the, the Arduino. They're simply coming off of the uh, the switch and also this these switches here off the server that are actuated as this one is now the only wires that you really need to take if this is on a panel the only wires you need to take to that panel are the common you just need to run a common wire out and you can pick up a bus feed off of your power supply um, uh, DCC supply and run it, but you only need one wire, which is the signal for L all your LEDs, w the w whichever for that. Excuse me for that turnout. So if this wasn't a crossover, it was just a siding. It would be the um, set of LEDs, one here, one here, um, for the diverging and, and main route, um, and I would need the the uh, signal wire or the common coming off of here I, could, I would have two coming from here one would come and feed the LEDs and the other would go to feed the frog on the turnout for my fast track turnouts if you're using Atlas or anything it doesn't need a powered frog all you need it for is a signal wire run run out to the uh, panel wherever it is one wire and run it to your common on your LEDs here and then just to make these flip back and forth as these do here um, like that that's all you need one common coming into it with a resistor on it 470 ohm resistor and then on this one it's negative to the red other red, uh, the other lead and positive to the green and it's positive to the red and negative to the green so when it switches it just takes whatever is coming off of the signal it turned out to be really simple and it's going to give me all my signaling can run it to the lights um, through a uh, uh, I haven't worked on it yet for to, for to actual signals for the tracks uh, on the layout but um, it's definitely the route that I'm taking it's extremely inexpensive like I say it's only ten dollars for uh, what everything I've got here for two as opposed to whatever the price for the other switch machines are commercially which I can't afford myself so anyway I'm gonna post this and uh, let me know what you think thanks